Hi gents, Man Arezzo here. This is the very first time in which I took over my my blades. Uh, frankly, I posted a very few videos on YouTube, and but I decided to to, to do this um, this time because I would like to share with you some information some consideration regarding this this blade as you can see it's a very simple blade uh, it's a light bushcraft and small bushcraft knife nothing special um, you will see uh, uh, it seems uh, uh, a very simple knife uh, for someone it could be also ugly maybe uh, somebody else could say that it remember a Mora knife with a wooden ha handle. My reply is, uh, it could be the, the, the truth, uh, but my goal for this video is to uh, end convincing you that, that what could be, what could seems simple at the first sight, it is not simple at all. I will mm, explain uh, what I have done for this knife, starting from the handle, and then I will speak over the, the blade and the steel I use and the thermal treatment I use, and I will end with the system that I call carrying system, is the sheet uh, with some uh, interesting idea uh, that I want to share with you. So let's start for a quick overview. Uh, the length of the blade is uh, about 9 inches, uh, the 230 millimeters, about the blade, the blade is, mm -hmm. let's look this way, the blade is about 4 inches, uh, a bit more of 100 millimeters, 107, the the weight of the blade is 100 gram 100 grams uh, the main goal for this project is to obtain a light knife small obviously but ma my mainly light it uh, i say project because there um, uh, this is not the, the 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 only one knife i produce this way this is the first prototype this is a blade that I'm working on during these days. Uh, there should be also a my carta handle the knife, but it is not more available. I will come back regarding my, my carta for this kind of, of blades later. And uh, and that's all. Uh, I want to 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 share with you some consideration regarding this kind of blades. I will. Uh, we we could start we could start from the the handle. Uh, um, I use uh, tech wood for this knife. Tech wood is not so nice, you see. I could say that it's <laughs> stupid, a stupid wood. Not not nice, not uh, interesting frames, not veins. Uh, uh, simple, very flat. Uh, but I adopted this wood because tech wood as a a very interesting property. It, tech wood is inherently, intrinsically waterproof, intrinsically moisture resistant. It's a very important uh, characteristics for uh, a, a for a wood to use for a, a knife handle. Uh, this, in particular, this is not treated. No oil, no wax, uh, nothing. It is naturally oiled, and <clears throat> when you handle it, you feel a very, very nice, cool feeling uh, using that because it seems waxed, but is not. It is it natural characteristics, very, very suitable for this application. Um, second, second important consideration regarding the, the handle is that you see 
These are, are intrinsically light solution due to the thickness of the blade. I forgot to say that is two millimeters, 2.8 millimeter thick. Uh, Eden Tang, uh, small blade, light. So since the lightness was the main goal for this project and you choose a heavy material for the handle, the result is that you produce an end, a knife that you fold in your hand with the uh, the feeling that all the, the, the weight stay here. Uh, is a, the, 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 the gravity center stay very far from the tip. I don't like, for me, in my opinion, balancing is one of the most important characteristics of a blade. And I have got confirmation of, of this when I produced the, the, the version with my carta handles. Consider that the specific weight of this wood is the half with respect to micarta, even less with respect to G10. And the micarta handled knife, uh, it was not so nice to handle because you felt all the weight of the knife in your hand, having a worst control of the blade. I know that someone liked that uh, but in my opinion, balancing is one of, of the most important characteristics of a blade. I, I try to obtain also my, the best result possible regarding that parameter. Uh, um, it's, it, it's very, I'm, I'm very focused on that, that uh, characteristics. Uh, <clears throat> few words, uh, <clears throat> few words on uh, uh, materials. You can see that the black part, <coughs> the guard, the stop pin, the pin, and the linear tube. Linear tube is in fiber carbon, uh, also to obtain lightness. Uh, fiber carbon, it has a comparable performance with regard to steel for this use, obviously. Uh, and so I decided to avoid metal parts. And as a second effect, I obtained that there are not cold spot on your handle if you should use in a very warm, uh, in a very, sorry, in a very cold conditions with a very low temperature. Uh, sealed with epoxy, the, the, the blade is sealed with epoxy, nothing new, a uh, very old solution, but I have tested it in this very reliable, long lasting, uh, it, you, you have a very good uh, warranty that the no infiltration inside the handle along the years for a very long, long time. That's all regarding uh, the, the handle. Uh, on next part, I will speak, I will spend some words regarding the steel and the blade and hoping to, to be interesting for you. Thanks for watching.